And now we have an update on a space rock threatening Earth. I got to tell you, Rob has been really looking forward to this segment. Yeah. <laughs> Our scientists are slightly worried about a football field sized asteroid smashing into the planet. Well, the concerns are growing, at least for me. So <laughs> we have an expert, Dr. Gesa Juke, Director of Astronomy at the Adler Planetarium. It joins us to talk about this massive rock headed our way. It's great to see you, Dr. Duke. Thank you so much. Pleasure. 2032 um, is when they're saying mm -hmm. that it could strike the Earth. I, is that possible? It's absolutely possible, uh, but it's not likely. Uh, right now, the, the, the probability stands at about 3%. Uh, so that means 97% chance that it won't hit. And we can all breathe a sigh of relief. Got and it. As, the, uh, as the days go by, uh, there's dozens of images being taken every day to try to work out exactly where it is and what direction it's going. Uh, and so slowly we're gathering more data and we'll be able to refine those predictions. And, and hopefully we'll be able to say, hey, no, it's not going to hit. But on the other hand, it, the probability could increase. We could get more and more accurate information and we could find out, yep, it's on a direct path towards us. So, so, Doctor, that's my next question. We're talking about seven years out. So how accurate is the information right now? And when will we know for sure? Months <laughs> out about if it will hit or not? Days out? Uh, well, well, we'll know uh, well in advance. Uh, so right now, it was only discovered this past uh, in late uh, December. So it was, we've only had two months, less than two months to, uh, to really study this object and sort of figure out where it's going. Uh, and, you know, when you only have a short little uh, pat portion of the path, it's hard to find out exactly what the orbit is. But as the, as the weeks and months go by, we'll get better and better data. We'll need larger and larger telescopes as it gets farther away from us, but we will eventually get a pretty good orbit. And if we don't see, figure out the orbit before we lose it uh, to sight, it's actually going to make a fairly close approach to us in 2028. Oh, uh, right. and yeah. uh, <laughs> nothing to worry about in that one. Okay. But in that, in that, during that time period, we'll really, really make sure that we get the exact perfect, you know. What if it was going to hit, is our last question for you. What kind of damage would it do? Well, uh, it's, 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 it's a mid-sized object, maybe between 50 and 100 meters across. Uh, so, you know, it's football size, uh, football field size. And it'd be about like, seven megatons equivalent explosion. That's about two or 300 times as powerful as the uh, the only atomic bombs used uh, in wartime, uh, the Hiroshima bomb. So it's definitely a city killer, uh, but hopefully it won't go over a city. Wow, okay, but but we want to emphasize we're only talking about a 3%, possibly a 3% chance That's right now. Okay. Uh, Dr. Juke is very calm yes. and collected about it. Now I will be the same way. Okay. Pleasure to have you on. We we'll feel talk better. to you again. Yeah. It's Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.